I'm going to be resto modding it. I've got an LS1 motor I'm going to put in it. Uh, Ride tech suspension all the way around. Just make it a modern driving and running uh, vehicle. So today I'm going to start the tear down on it. I'm going to be pulling the body off of the frame. I already pulled the engine out. I didn't show any of that because I was in a hurry to get it out. I had sold the engine, the transmission, and the headers, and I wanted to get them out. But anyway, I'm going to be pulling the body off now, and I'm going to try and leave the body as intact as possible. I'm going to leave the top on, the seats in, all the stuff in there, um, because I don't want to have parts scattered all over the place. So if I can get the body off mostly intact, I probably will pull a radiator support um, and the grill. Of course, I'm gonna have to take the bumpers off and stuff uh, to get as much weight off of the front end as I can because the lifting straps are gonna hook in right here and right back here. So I don't want uh, any extra weight up on the nose here. And then once I get the body off, I can get the frame stripped down to a bare frame, get it all cleaned up and painted and ready to go back together. Then I might start doing some body work before winter gets here. Um, I've got two issues, main issues to deal with. I don't like these rear fender flares, so I've, I'm going to uh, put some pieces. I already bought some pieces that will go right in here and bring that back to stock and then I've got a little problem up front here let me show you what I'm talking about here okay I don't know if this will show up or not but if you look at this uh, line right here where the peak of this nose is it's fairly straight all the way over to here and then it runs downhill from here on out and I don't know but I'm guessing that I've got a little damage on this right front at some point in its life and a uh, a new piece of fiberglass was grafted in and they just didn't get it lined up properly. Once I get the paint off of it, uh, maybe I'll know a little more about it. Don't forget to take these brackets off and lay in up in here because you'll never get the body off with those in place. I think I've got everything disconnected except for the body bolts that hold it to the frame. So that's what I'm going to do now. There's four down each side. There's one right here. You can see where this bracket is. There's a bolt up there. I've got the door seals off. And there's a bolt right there I've got to get to. Right in here, there's a little inspection cover, and there's a bolt in there I've got to get to. And then there's one more bolt kind of in this area, uh, inside there, underneath. And it's a bolt that comes up from underneath, and it goes into some kind of a caged nut on top. And it's my understanding that that one is usually a rusty mess up in there. Hopefully mine's not too bad, because this is a Southwest car. But the first thing I'm going to do is try and get some WD-40 on all the threads of these bolts and that might make them a little easier to come out. And one other thing I'm going to do before I pull the body off is measure this gap width between the door and the body, front and back, just so I have a reference as to what it was before I started. Let me show you exactly where these front bolts are. 
Remember, I've got the engine out, so I'm actually standing in the engine bay area. There's one bolt right there. And then on the other side, it's right there. Here's what it looks like in there. Well, so far I'm getting lucky. After I broke that bolt loose, why it's coming right on out. Now turning to these ones on the rear, it's right there. Okay, well, my luck just ran out. I can turn this bolt, but I can hear the nut up inside the cage uh, just spinning as well. So I'm gonna have to cut the head of that one off. I'm not real sure the best way to do this. I've got my right angle grinder, so I'm gonna try and just get up in here and try and cut in some slots into it. Keep working it till I get the head of that bolt off. Okay, I think I got it. It was a little bit of work, but I got the head ground off. Now, I get a screwdriver right here. Let's see if I can pop that washer off of there. There we go. Now I'll go do the other side. Maybe it'll unbolt, but I doubt it. Had to grind this driver's side bolt off too. I ended up going to a little thicker grinding wheel. Seemed to work a little better. So both of the rears had to be have the heads of the bolts ground off. The other six came out easy enough, so I guess that's not too bad. Could have been worse. All right, I've got it all rigged up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I think the seat belt mounts got to come loose there. I didn't take them loose. I think that's the problem. brake cable is kind of wrapped it around going down under a frame number so I gotta get that okay let's try it again I see a ground wire that seems to be taken off Okay, I think everything's clear. Okay. Well, I've got one little problem. That's as high as my lift goes. I should have taken the windshield off, I guess, then I could have uh, got this body up a little higher. But anyway, I'm not going to be able to roll the chassis out from under there as is because the fuel tank is setting up higher than this part of the body right here. 
So what I think I can do is just roll it back, pull the fuel tank off, and then it'll come out. It's resting on the stand. I need to make some little spacers, maybe trim the outer edges of that stand because it's a tiny bit too wide. But that's good for today. Let me show you the frame. It looks really good. There's no rust anywhere on it, really. It's a little dirty, but I don't see any immediate damage that's popping out at me. And it's not all rusty like a lot of them you see. So I think it's going to clean up real nice. Can't see real great because of the shadow from this tree over here. <laughs> 